Hey you guys, I didn't want to get my tripod and everything, so I'm building like this way. I'm using my laptop as a tripod, I guess. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a story time about something that happened last year. I just never made a video about it because I didn't think it was a big deal, but maybe it is. Um, but this is story time from last year. Um, so August of 2022. Um, and this is a story time about how I got COVID for the very first time and basically my experience with it and what it was like having it. And you know, that's today's video. It's a story time about how I got COVID. So let's get started. So for like sake of everything, I am vaccinated. Um, I'm double vaccinated. I've gotten one of my boosters. Like, I'm fully vaccinated. And I've been vaccinated since 2021. Um, never got COVID during the entire pandemic. Never got COVID once. Um, and then I came back for the fall semester at school. And it was like barely a week or two into the semester. And I started getting sick. And my throat was starting to hurt. I started coughing. And I was like, what is this? What is this? And I was like, it's probably strep throat. Because I knew a lot of people that had strep throat. I didn't think I can't get COVID. I'm vaccinated, whatever. And I just want to put something here right now. This is not me trying to be like, the vaccinations do nothing. Because I'm going to tell you what happened to me. This isn't the same for everyone. Um, but still, I would recommend getting vaccinated because I was one of the lucky ones with having COVID. So I moved into my dorm, thought I had strep throat. And we have like a doctor's office on campus. So I go there and they did a strep test and a COVID test because I hadn't gotten a COVID test since January. Um, so they were like, we're going to do a COVID test and a strep test. And they did both. And the strep test came back now did, but the COVID test came back positive. So what they had to do was, is they were like, there's two options. They asked me if I had a roommate on campus. I do. And they were like, okay, so this means you have to be isolated because you cannot be in a room with someone. One of the options is that you move all of your stuff into a separate dorm room in another building and stay there. The other option is you go home for a week. Honestly, I preferred the version of go home for a week. Uh, you email all of your teachers. Some of them might do excused absences. We don't know. We'll send you like a medical note that you can send to them for you to email. You can send it to your work, you know, because I was working at the time. Um, so I had to email all my professors. I had to text my manager. I had to text my boyfriend. I had to text my roommate. And I had to call my dad and tell him, hey, I got COVID, I'm coming home. He's like, for how long? And I go, a week. He's like, okay, what do you do then? And I'm like, I just pack some clothes, a little bit of my school stuff and just drive home immediately. And this was like luckily only two o'clock in the afternoon. It wasn't late. Um, so, cause it's a three hour drive from my campus to my house. It's three hours. So then I messaged my roommate. I tell her I'm coming back to the dorm now. Cause we were staying in a dorm. I think what happened was, is we had stayed in an apartment and it was just the two of us sharing a room. We didn't have like any other people. And yes, we shared a kitchen with other people, but very rarely people cooked in there. I'm pretty sure we would be any people that actually cooked in there with me and my roommate. But we always cleaned after ourselves, didn't get COVID the entire time. But then I moved into a dorm because our apartments got closed because they're doing renovations or something for the whole year. So then apparently we end up in a dorm. My dad was like, you got COVID from living in the dorm because this, this building, it's not clean. They don't sanitize shit. It's from going on the elevator almost every single day. They got rid of the mask mandates, like all of this stuff. So a bunch of people are sick and a bunch of people probably have COVID and aren't getting tested for it, even though you should be. Because the requirement at school is that if you are not fully vaccinated, you have to get, well, I don't know if this is the thing anymore, but it used to be if you were vaccinated, you had to get tested every two weeks. 
um, they don't do that anymore. I think that's not a requirement. But they do like recommend that you get vaccinated because you're on a college campus. You are in classrooms with people you've never met before. You are sharing a room with someone. You are sharing a bathroom with sometimes three other people. Like, dude, it's, it's not great. It's not a great thing. So I had to go home. Now, they can't give you any medication for the doctor's office. They gave me like some cough medicine and stuff like that, very simple stuff. But my symptoms were nothing. I didn't have a fever. That was the first thing I noticed was I didn't have a fever. I just had a really bad cough and I was a little bit stuffed up. That was it. I just had a sore throat and a really bad cough. So my symptoms were very, very mild. A lot of people get like the headaches and the fever and they get really, really sick and they can't move and they get the aches and everything. Because I'm vaccinated, my symptoms weren't as bad. And also, no one I knew got COVID. I didn't transmit it to anyone. My boyfriend didn't get COVID. My roommate didn't. No one in my family had COVID. So there's the other thing. So I'm saying do get vaccinated. It's not like you're never going to get it. But guess what? If like if you get vaccinated, you're more than likely not going to get it. And if you do get it, your symptoms are milder. Getting the flu vaccine doesn't mean you're never going to get flu ever again. That's why you get it every single year. It's a preventative measure. I got my flu vaccine literally a few days ago, right? So I went home for a whole week because I found out Monday. Luckily, it was like the beginning of the school week. I found out Monday, emailed all my teachers. They all responded back. Um, they were all like, okay, do you need like alternative assignments or all this and one of my teachers gave me excuse to absences but I had to like send her an email with like my reflections on the reading for that week um and my absences were excused and then I I stayed home for a whole week I brought home like any books any like homework I had to do I have my laptop with me I had like cloves and stuff like that, like very simple stuff. Went home for like a week, came back, and then the policy is you then have to wear a mask for at least five days when you get back to campus. You're allowed back on campus after a week of having it. So like I found out on a Monday and I was able to come back on Saturday, but it was Labor Day weekend. It was Labor Day weekend anyways, because Monday I had class, and then it was the week, and then it was Labor Day weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It was Labor Day weekend. So I could have stayed an extra couple of days, but I decided not to. Um, I went back on Saturday. My dad tried to make me stay. He was like, why don't you stay an extra day, you know? Like, you don't have to go back straight away. And I'm like, Dad, I love you in pieces, but I don't want to stay here. I got stuff to do. <laughs> But then I had to wear a mask for five days and I wore a mask a little bit longer. I think I wore a mask for like two more weeks because I was like, I'm not risking it. Haven't gotten COVID since, haven't even had a scare. I haven't been sick since, um, luckily. Um, but yeah, that that wasn't a fun experience. It, it, it was, um, I know some people have worse experiences with COVID. I was lucky that I really only had a cough and a sore throat. Um, I basically lost my voice, I think, at one point. Like, my voice was almost gone. I had to wear a mask in my house. When I would go places around the house, I had to wear a mask. My mom told me not to cook anything, that to order food. That way I wasn't touching anything. I didn't have to sanitize everything I touched. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I wore that mask for, like, five days. I, I wore a mask the entire time I was home in the house. Um, but no one in my house got COVID. My mom did it. My brother did it. My dad did it. No one got COVID. So, and my boyfriend did it. And we all know what I do with him. So, he didn't get COVID. But it was really weird, you know. I was home and then I went back to school, wore a mask for like two weeks. 
And some people from my class were like, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I got COVID. And they're like, oh, that explains it. Cause they were like, where did you go? So I had to ask them for notes. Um, Cause I asked like this one girl in class, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be gone for the whole week. And she was in two of my classes. Um, so I was like, could you, could you send me notes? Cause I have COVID. <laughs> She's like, yeah. And she sent me like notes and everything. And she was great. I had her in two of my classes. She was awesome. Um, but yeah, it was, um, it was a good time. It was a nice time. I liked. Last semester was good, um, but, uh, it actually, it was a tough one, but I got through it. Um, but yeah, I, I had COVID, I got over it, and I'm fine. I don't think I have a permanent damage. Um, I know some people, when they have long COVID, it causes problems. I don't think I have a permanent damage. My voice doesn't sound any differently. Um... I don't get sick very easily. I, I'm not someone, when I was a little kid, I did. But as I've gotten older, I don't get sick very easily. It takes a lot for me to get sick. And usually I get like the worst kind of sick. It'll be everyone's got strep throat. I'm the one with COVID. Everyone's got a cold. I'm the one with flu. Like that was always how it was when I was a kid. It's like, everyone's got like a seasonal cold and then I've got the flu. So, you know, that's, that's how it was when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I'm better now. Um, like I said, that was back in August of 2022, you know, like four months ago. And uh, yeah, it, it was, it was weird. It was like two weeks after the semester started, I had to go back home. And it was just really annoying, but I had to do it and I was fine with it. I was able to get any schoolwork done that I needed. Um, and yeah, all of my teachers were like really understanding and were like, okay, as long as you're like, okay, get better soon. Cause I had a teacher dad had COVID like back in March. He was like, I know it sucks. So like, I completely understand. So yeah, they, they make a, they make a lot of precautions. Um, but yeah, no, no one I knew got it after like seeing me or being around me, no one got it. Um, I know my roommate, she started to feel sick, but it wasn't COVID. And her family was asking, are you going to come home? And it's like, well, I don't think so. Cause it was Labor Day weekend. She was like, I'm not going to go home because I might get a fever. And if I do, I could have COVID and I live with very elderly people. So I'm not risking that. <laughs> but yeah, COVID. it was one time. No one else in my family has ever had COVID. I'm the only person that's had it. And it's because of living in a college dorm, you know? When you live in dorms, like, nothing's clean, nothing's sanitized. It's, it's not a fun experience. It was two weeks after I moved in. Haven't had it since, though. So, you know, I might have been lucky just get it once, get it over with, and not have an immunity. Because um, I think that's what happens. You, like, grow antibodies to it or whatever. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor, so don't take my word for it. And don't take any word for it from some person on Facebook, okay? If they don't have a medical degree, don't listen to them. That's just my advice. But yeah, I'm okay now. <laughs> I know some people who have talked about like permanent damage, like their hair falls out. And I'm like, I don't think that's COVID. I think that's something else. And you're just saying it's COVID, but you're saying it's something else. I don't know. I Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But there are some things where I'm like, I, I don't think you have alopecia because you had COVID. You probably already had alopecia. And because your immune system went down, then you get worse. You know, I had some customer who was talking about vaccines and stuff and she was just ranting. And I'm like, why am I listening to this woman? But she was like, oh, they insisted on everyone gets the flu vaccine at like her grandkids school. And I'm like, those are your grandkids, not your actual kids. So who gives a shit? And she's like, and now everyone has the flu. And I'm like, can I give you some advice? Um, you don't get the flu from the flu vaccine. What happens is, is your immune system goes like this. When you get the flu vaccine, it's like boop, boom. Because your immune system is trying to fight all that. It kind of ignores everything else, right? So then you get sick very easily and you don't get sick with the flu. You get sick with anything. You get a cold and it ends up looking like the flu because the flu is one of the most basic symptoms 
like flu-like symptoms are basically the explanation of every single illness. Every single illness is based on flu-like symptoms. The runny nose, the cough, the sore throat, the stuffed up, the sneezing. All of that is the same symptoms for like 1600 different illnesses. So don't be assuming you have flu because you more than likely don't. You more than likely have a common cold. You more than likely have like something else and you're just assuming it's flu because you get the flu vaccine. That's not how it works. You don't have a medical degree, don't talk about medical shit. That's just my opinion. If you don't have a medical degree, don't talk about medical shit. So I, that's what I know from what I've heard from actual doctors is that you don't actually get the flu when you get your flu vaccine. Your immune system is just shut down for a little while. So then you get sick with a bunch of stuff and you think it's flu because you make an association. Okay, your brain is like, oh, I just had the flu vaccine, so that means I have the flu. And I'm like, no, 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 honey, you just got flu-like symptoms, not the same thing, not the same thing. But yeah, anyway, I had COVID, I'm over it, and I'm good now. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a weird experience. Uh, I don't know anyone else who's had COVID. Um, I know of people, but like, I don't think I've had any friends or family that have had COVID at any point. And, uh, yeah, anyways, I am gonna get off here now, and uh, this was fun. I like filming story times because I think they're interesting. Sometimes I do them on TikTok, but I might film another one later. I have an idea for one, because it's based, all of my story times are based on things that actually happen. Like, I'm not one of these, like, clickbait tiktokers like all the ones that i all the story times that i make are based on actual things i do have a story time i want to do but i don't know if i'm gonna do it but if you want me to do another story time let me know in the comments below and i might post it um thank you so much for watching uh this was a really fun video to film uh this was nice it was nice just talking about stuff um what else was I going to say? If you found this video interesting, give it a like and subscribe for more story times in the future. Comment what story times you want to see next. If you want to see more, um, if you want to see a different kind of video, let me know. Hit the notification bell for a new video as soon as this one reaches double the views or by next week, whichever comes first. And um, I haven't posted a story time in a really long time, so I don't know what videos I'm going to put here. I'll probably just be with like best for viewer or something like that just do the automated ones but i do have a story time playlist that i'm gonna put here just the story time playlist i think i have like two story times maybe three i don't know i don't know i don't really post story times a lot but let me know if you like them and uh these links will be in the description below including all my social media links which is instagram tumblr my fandom tumblr my other tumblr Twitter, all of those are down there. If you want more video edits, go to Twitter. If you want to see more like video videos, like makeup videos, I post them on TikTok sometimes. Um, Instagram is just pictures of me and my friends and stuff like that. I don't post a lot on Instagram, it's not a vibe. Um, and Tumblr, I also post video updates on there. If it's a fandom related video, it's on the fandom blog. And if it's my regular videos, then that's on my regular Tumblr. But yeah, go check out all those links and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.